Woo! Little space battles. What's going on YouTube and what up to the, the Dragon, Dragon Squad. Squad. I am Ember the Blaze. And I am Glacier the Iceborne. And we are Reaction, Reaction Dragons. Dragons. Coming to you live from the Dragon's Lair. And uh, Glacier, what is on the menu for today? Uh, one of the great shows uh, that are coming out and anticipated, uh, The Mandalorian Trainer 2. Pretty much The Mandalorian is the same thing that the guy drove in Back to the Future. That's not a Mandalorian, that's a DeLorean. You dumbass. <laughs> But hey, it's all good. It's still going to be a great show. Um, we actually just reacted to the uh, Rise of Skywalker trailer. So in the you know spirit of Star Wars, we got to get in our Star Wars mood. This is a brand new show coming on uh, Disney Plus streaming service. And we're definitely going to be downloading and subscribing to Disney Plus because I know they got a lot of good content coming out between this year, next year, and beyond. This is definitely on, uh, definitely on our, one of our most anticipated uh, shows list. And... Uh, I don't know, just from judging, you know, we did watch a little bit of the first trailer and it actually looks really, really good. Uh, cinematography's on point. I like how uh, dark it is. It's following uh, the bounty hunter. I guess his name is the Mandalorian. He looks kind of like Boba Fett. So I'm actually not entirely sure if this is like a Boba Fett origin story or if this is a, uh, another bounty hunter named the Mandalorian. Yeah, pretty really cool. I wonder if they're going to feature any uh, Jedis in here. I don't know. I mean, I think this is going to be darker, similar to the uh, Star Wars movie. What was that one called? Um, Rogue One. Yeah, yeah, that Rogue one, one. yeah, that one had a really gritty feel. There wasn't any Jedi's in it except for, you know, Darth Vader. Spoiler alert, Darth Vader's in it. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was and very it's a gritty. badass scene with Darth Vader. Yeah, when he's in there, he literally murks everybody, and it's probably the best scene in the movie. But uh, even before that, though, it was a very gritty, grounded Star Wars story, and I love how it just was very realistic and grounded. It took out all the science fiction part of it. And just made it just really about the you know the rebellion, right? Because they yeah. don't have those you know special powers. They don't have the force. They don't have the force and the lightsabers and all that. They have to literally, you know, just use to... intelligence, guns, and whatever their tools and resources they have. Yeah, they gotta work as a team. Not to say you know Jedi's don't work as a team, but they don't really have to because they can you know kill you by themselves. But it's not. It can't. It's not like it can't be done. Like you said, look at Boba Fett and Han Solo. They didn't have special powers and they made it. Exactly, and uh, this is really gonna. I think this is really gonna change the Star Wars game because this is the first actual like full-on Star Wars, you know, series that's out. You know, they've had obviously they've had nine movies. Um, Any series has been like cartoon ones. Yeah, like they've that. had like the animated shows, which you know, those are pretty good. We haven't really followed the animated stuff, but I am very excited about this. It's uh, directed by uh, John Favreau, which of course you guys already know from the fame of you know Iron Man one and two. He just did The Lion King, he did The Jungle Book, so he's already, you know, an established, great, great director, and I really feel like he's going to be passionate about this uh, Star Wars universe, and he's going to give us something that we haven't seen before. Yeah, especially with, you know, those have been big hits, he's obviously got money in his pocket to invest to make sure this is a great show and get a yeah. solid cast. Absolutely, and you know that, you know, Disney has, a, you know, a blank check, so they went up to John Favreau and they said, here's infinite monies, um, make us something great, and I think he's going to deliver, I really do. Yeah, with yeah. infinite monies, you can't really go wrong. Exactly. You can't go wrong with infinite monies. And if you want to give us some of that infinite monies, go ahead and send it right this way, and then we'll make Star Wars level reaction videos. And we'll have a dragon in Star Wars. I mean, who wouldn't want to see that? Yeah, but that kind of money, I'll just, you know, get real dragons like us. We don't have to do no CGI dragons because we are the real thing. Um, but anyways, make sure if you guys are not part of the Dragon Squad, you uh, go in and change that because why wouldn't you be part of the Dragon Squad? It's the best squad there is. So yeah. make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, share, hit the notification bell so you know when our next video is dropping. And it really doesn't matter whether you're repping the Fire Squad or the Ice Squad. At the end of the day, if you're a dragon, you're, you're a dragon. dragon. Now, uh, before we get into the trailer, of course, we got to give a huge shout out to our sponsors over there. I bet you can't escape escape room in Tampa. Go ahead and check out this clip right now. Does your boredom and your need to be entertained have you searching for the next adrenaline rush? Look no further than Bet You Can't Escape. Three exciting escape room adventures. Three unique themes. Three different ways to find a way out. Do you have what it takes? Bet You Can't Escape. Tampa, Florida. Back guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. 
Um, like Ember said, it's a great uh, place where you can do parties and rooms and probably one of the best escape rooms on the market. So make sure you check them out. Absolutely. Make sure you name drop Reaction Dragons when you get there. Tell them we sent you and you're going to get $5 off per person. So go ahead and hit them up. BayouCanEscape.com or just call them at 813-290-0099. Absolutely. So uh, you guys are ready to do this. I know Glacier's ready. I'm ready. Any last words before we get into our dragon form? No, Ember, use the force. I'm gonna force my way into dragon mode. Hope you guys are ready because let the reaction begin. The Mandalorian, let's go. Right off the bat, that first shot. Looks epic. Got it. Damn! Put their heads on a spike. Damn, they got real dark. They don't like stormtroopers. Not it is a shame that your people suffered. But there are some good stormtroopers out there. Eh. Eh, find that good. Oh, I'm Oh! Oh, shit. Boom! Oh, just like they did Han Solo! Damn. The production value is insane right now. This is a show? I don't know, it's like a mini movie. They said you were coming. They said you were the best in the parsec. Really? Would you agree? Uh, of course I agree. Fuck the Mandalorian. Like when Boba Fett meets John Wick. Right? Damn. Damn. Woo! Little space battles. Shit, is that the guy from Creed? Here, uh, well, the Breaking Bad. That's uh, uh, what's his name? What's his name? is Jar Jar Binks. I don't know why you're so obsessed with Jar Jar Binks. I mean, he's kind of a dick. Kind of like you. He's like, you also gonna be sorry when I watch your reaction because I'm gonna have the Yusa whoop your ass. Misa gonna set you on fire because Misa, I fucking fire dragon. I hope Jar Jar Binks, if you're out there, Ember challenges you and I think Jar Jar Binks, uh, who do you, what do you guys think? You think Jar Jar Binks would whoop Ember's ass? And guys, I don't know if you ever tasted uh, roasted Jar Jar Binks, but if you want to try me, come right ahead and I'll uh, make some up right for you. More importantly, what do you think of this show? More importantly, this show looks badass. I mean, epic in scale, production values off the charts, where it's like, you think this movie's gonna hit the theaters in IMAX 3D in December, but it's not. It's gonna hit our streaming services so we can watch it from the comfort of our Dragon's Lair on November the 12th. Oh shit, that's like right around the corner. Right around the corner. Well, can't wait. And I like uh, the action scenes. Uh, you can tell that uh, there's gonna be really good choreography and. Uh, uh, obviously a good storyline. Yeah, and obviously you can't go wrong, and I can't believe I had a brain fart when I was thinking of his name. Breaking Bad, you had Mr. Uh, Gus. Short for Gustavo. Oh yeah, that's who it was. Yeah, Gus. I'm thinking of the um, Apollo from Rocky. looked like he was in it. Oh yeah, Apollo Creed. His name is, uh, I don't know, my dragon brain is really uh, fried right now. Yeah, it's like my mind's blown. Carl Weathers. His name is Carl Weathers, and I can't believe I remember that. Can't believe you either? Because uh, I thought you were too busy thinking about Jar Jar Binks. The only person thinking about Jar Jar Pinks is your blue ass. But uh, other than that, I think it's time to get down to the rating because I already know what I'm going to give this trailer and probably what I'm going to give this entire show. But uh, going to start off Glacier, what do you rate this trailer? Um, easy for me. Uh, Dragon Certified. Dragon Certified. Hit it. There you have it, guys. The Mandalorian trailer. Dragon Certified. As if there was any doubt, this looks like it's going to be epic. Jon Favreau, you the man. You the man. And you the guess man. who's not the man? You, Jerry, because we don't fucking need you. Yeah, sorry, Jerry. You're just here to watch trailers with us, but until we watch some whack shit, you're just going to sit there and uh, look ugly. What the hell are you staring at? Yeah, with your little dragon wings. Stupid ass.
Stupid ass. But anyways, that's the video, guys. Tell us what you think about the Mandalorian trailer. Are you guys looking forward to it the way we are? Leave a comment down below. And again, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Join the Dragon Squad. Cop the merch. Cop the and like merch. you said, it doesn't matter if you're a fire squad or the ice squad. At the end of the day, if you're a dragon, you're, you're a, a dragon. dragon. So this again is Reaction Dragons. I am Ember the Blaze. I'm Glacier the Iceborn. And until next time, we're going to see you next time.